guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cece if you're new. I need to do kind of this quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to French braid your own hair. But this is like one of my go-to hairstyles. It's just like out of your face and it's super cute also. It goes with like every every kind of look. Whether you're casual or whether you need to dress up, I always have my hair in braids. So if you want to see how to do French braids on yourself, then keep on watching. Okay, to start you're going to need a hairbrush. A comb like this or anything you can use to kind of make your part and like make it even all the way down and then I like to use these like clear little hair ties they're super thin so when you have them on like the edge you don't really see it and especially with my blonde hair if it's like black you can kind of see it so I prefer the clear and then I keep a toothbrush handy this is like my hair toothbrush um, just in case I get any like bumps midway that I can quickly like smooth out but you'll see if that happens so yeah let's just get into it the first step I do is just brush out your hair make sure you know it's tangle free I am on like day three hair I find it's much better when you have like a little bit of like your natural oils in your hair it braids much easier um so this is kind of a hairstyle I do once I like am like one or two days in and I want to also keep it like that for a couple more days. Put a little hairspray at night before I go to sleep if I want to keep them in and the next morning it's like just so easy because your hair is already done and you can just get up and go. Once your hair is all brushed out, we're going to go in with this fine tooth comb and use the opposite side. My hair is already in like my middle part so I'm just going to go back over it and make sure it's nice and even and then once I know the tops even I take this part of the comb I start like right here on the crown of my head and then you just go all the way down the back like down the nape of your neck in the straightest line possible to get your two sections and then I always keep so I have my mirror in front of me here I'm on my bedroom floor, don't ask me why, I just like do my hair better sitting on my floor, it's just what I've always done. So I take a mirror behind my head, and I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I look in the mirror that's in front of me, and I just check to make sure that that part is even. I think I could fix a few things. I'm gonna go back over it one more time. For me, having the part even and straight is like super important. So I spent, you know, as much time as necessary getting this part even. Okay, let's check this now. I just kind of like twist both sides so I can see. That yeah, looks pretty good. Forgot a scrunchie is also something you're gonna need or an extra hair tie to tie up the one section you're not working on. So hold on. Got a scrunchie, so I'm gonna section off this side while I'm working on the other side so no hair from this side gets on the other side and you know, makes it not even. Perfect, and we're done. Okay, so to start, I just take, it's almost like a little triangle. I'm gonna do this just for the purpose of the video. Kind of like that you see how it's like a triangle so with this piece i'm gonna separate into three sections so one two and three like so basically the whole concept of french braiding is you're taking the outer two pieces so there's always like a middle piece and then the two on each side and you're putting the ones over top of the middle to do like a, a Dutch braid, the one that, is it Dutch? I think it's Dutch. The one that we're like, basically the braid's like on top. It's like not in, it's like on top of the head. If you know what I mean? With that one, you go under the middle piece. So anyway, that's just the difference between the two. So I have my three pieces. For me personally, like keeping my hands, you'll see like working like this on the side of my head works so much better than trying to like go behind your head. That might help some people, you know, like hand placement. So how I do it is I take, you can start from either side. I'm just gonna start from this bottom piece. So boom, you go over the middle, keep that back in that other hand. And then you pick this that you just crossed over up with the other hand. So my tip is to add hair right away. So I'm gonna take the piece that is now, that was like the middle piece, and I'm just going to gather a little section of hair to add to that. And now we're done with him. 
So I'm just gonna hold him with my other hand. So now we have these two pieces. So this goes over the middle. So you're gonna take that, go over the middle. Now you have the middle section in your hand and you're gonna grab a little extra hair and hang on to it in that hand. And then just keep repeating the same top set. So you can see this is the middle piece. So now I'm gonna take this piece and go over the middle again. Make sure you pull tight after each crossover. That kind of helps to keep the braid nice and tight. And then immediately add whatever you just pulled across. Immediately add hair to that section. I find when you add hair right away after you've crossed it over. So again, over the middle. And like I always take my time to like smooth out while I'm crossing it over. Just keeps it like bump free. And then again, add piece to the piece you just crossed over. Boom. Over the middle. Now we have this new piece, so add hair to it. And literally, I don't want to say it's as easy as that, but it is. And I promise with just a little bit of practice, you can definitely do this. And it's like my go-to hairstyle. Because it's just so easy. It keeps your hair out of your face. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that same thing. Adding a little more hair to the piece we just crossed over. Not holding that. Crossing over. And then adding more hair. And then just keep working your way down. The direction as far as where your braid, if you want it to go more back or like more down, this hand, the top hand is like where, what controls the direction. So keep this high and like keep adding hair like up into it if you want the braid to go a little more back or if you want the braid to be a little more like crowned, keep that hand like kind of like right here. I kind of do like a little bit of like an in-between. So it kind of goes like on the, like the sides of my head. So I kind of keep my hand positioned in like the side of my head. So just keep that in mind. So I just added more to this side. Make sure that's nice and even. And then take the back and cross it over. And then like I said, you can smooth out that piece and make sure it's nice and flat before you add more hair to the piece. Then you just crossed over. Okay, so I grabbed some other side. more hair like I said I find adding more hair right when you cross that piece over it kind of helps me not get like confused as far as like which piece I have to add hair to like if I went right now and like crossed it over and then tried to add a hair I would get confused I'm literally just confused with what I just said so I hope that makes sense but <laughs> you get the idea okay so we're adding more and crossing over and then keep it tight like pull it tight and try to hang on to it like at the base of your head because that'll keep it from like falling out just add more i kind of like to go like up in a diagonal instead of like straight back it kind of like lifts lifts the braid it's hard when you get these like baby hairs I'm like no this is when you can take that toothbrush and just kind of like help yourself guide some hair up but that looks fine. So we added that, crossing over this back. And even here too, like you can take that toothbrush and like make sure that piece you just gathered is all smooth before you cross over the middle. It's hard to see because the middle is like under my hand, but you just keep repeating that same. If you just remember, it goes over the middle, not under, over. And that, you know, your braid will form. You just have to trust the process. Back of my head. Trying to like feel it out and make sure like the sections you're grabbing are even. So your braid stays even. Just take your time with it. If you see anything start to get bumpy, see if you can like pull at it, play around with it. And that'll give you like the smoothest possible braid. Starts to get a little lumpy like when you get towards the back of your head because that hair is now like being pulled in a different direction because it's usually like this. Now we're pulling it like this. So anyway, 
toothbrush and just smooth it. And then just keep working your way down. Make sure you have all the hair over from this back side. Just keep adding. You gotta go behind your ear. And then once you get like almost to the end, the hair here at the bottom, I like to take almost all of it. And then any hair you have left kind of like closer to your neck or like on the inside, put that towards a piece in this hand, this outer hand, take everything from like the outer side because that'll kind of like close off the braid. So just take like this chunk and add that to your outer piece. And then we'll take this inner piece that's attached more like closer to my neck to the this piece so then that way the braid like stays along like your head if that makes sense so go along your neck and then officially off the head and now you just braid your regular loose braid And then I like to keep a little bit of hair out, about like an inch or so. And then you just take when you're clear and tie it up. Voila. Let me zoom you back out a little bit so you can see. But yeah, like I said, I kind of like having it go like in this angle because that way you can still see it in pictures like in the front. Um, but it still kind of keeps your hair like out of your face. See how did the back turn out? Looks pretty good. Let me turn around just in case you couldn't really see it in the video. But there is that braid. Like I said, my like kind of top tips are holding your hands like this and kind of working like with your arms down. I Instead of like over your head, I used to try to like braid it like this, could never. So if I don't know if you haven't tried it like this way, like keeping your arm like across your body and working like that. I found that so much easier for me. So that may help you. I'm right-handed, so this side is way easier for me to do because this hand kind of controls everything. This side's like a little harder for me because my left hand isn't as like, you know, useful since I'm right-handed. So if you're like the opposite, if you're like me, and one side seems harder to do than the other, that's probably why. But honestly, just practice, like take your time, focus. I find focusing helps a lot too. Like sometimes I'll just like start thinking about something and get in a train of thought. And then I literally like, I'm like, which piece am I crossing over? And then, you know, happens to the best of us. So, you know, I hope that was helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so you can kind of see both sides. But yeah, I hope I did a good job explaining that. So let's just get this other side done and see how we do.
this too, what I just did there, helps if you need help like sectioning a piece or getting like an even section, because it gets hard to like, you know, get an even piece. So if you just take that edge of your comb, it gives you like a nice even section that you can now add to that part. See, I kind of noticed that that piece was like bubbling up. So if you catch it right when you do it, you can kind of like tuck it into the braid. So it makes it a little less bumpy when you're done. Go ahead and section off. I like to make sure both sides are even. Obviously, where you put the little hair tie, make sure your tails are even. And voila! Moving back out. Here is the final look. Let me give you a little. 360 here boom you know definitely not perfect um but that oh good morning molly dog just woke up you can also get a bobby pin and like put it in the braid like this piece i could like stick a bobby pin down into but i don't really mind it actually because sometimes i kind of like when there's a little bit of like texture to the braids like they're not exactly perfect if you want to as kind of like a final step you can take some hair gel onto that toothbrush and like comb down any parts you want to be like super sleek. Then I like to take my toothbrush and do my baby hairs. Just make sure those are nice. And lay it into the braid. Just makes it look a little like neater. Makes you the difference. helps make them look a little more uniform that's about it like I said if you do this like during the day in the morning and then you want to wear it into the next day just be sure to spray like especially the back of your head with hairspray and kind of spray down I mean you're gonna get a little bit of messiness after you sleep but it definitely helps as far as keeping like the braid intact so yeah literally love this hairstyle like practice and you'll get it I promise but it's so nice to be able to do this to your own hair so you just don't have to worry about your hair for the next couple of days. I promise you anybody can do this. It took me a little while to really like learn and perfect it, but practice makes perfect. And as long as you focus while you're actually doing the braids, that helps like tremendously. And you can remember which piece you're holding is what and like just go over the middle. Every time you're going over the middle piece and then that piece you just got, add which, whatever side you're pulling it towards, you'll like, you know, you'll feel which one. 
you just add more hair to that piece and then again on the other side over the middle and back now that makes sense but yeah that's about it thanks so much you guys for watching um if you have any questions please leave them down below i'd be happy to answer them or if you have any suggestions for other videos you want to see let me know as well down below in the comments and if you aren't subscribed thanks again for watching and i will see you in my next one